up? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I'm Nikki, and today we're going to be unboxing BAM! The BAM Box! Now, this is the regular, not the horror BAM Box for October 2017, and I am super excited. I think they're featuring Trick or Treat, maybe 1409. There's probably some, is it Christine? Was that this one or the horror box? I don't know. A lot of really awesome franchises that I'm super excited about, and I think there is potentially a Halloween autograph, as in the movies franchise Halloween. So yeah, I can't wait to break into this. If you guys want to check out Bambox, I will leave links and pricing in the description box below. All right, so without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and break into this. So when you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. The first item is in this little black box. It is a grim replica of one of the seven keys from Dark Matter Props. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Bambox, they are known for doing prints, autographs, and prop replicas. I think I watched some of the first season of Grimm, and I just never really got into it, but this is uh, pretty amazing. So this is a, a necklace, and it's actually quite heavy and detailed. Is that on that side that on that side and as you can see it kind of breaks apart and when you flip it over you get a little key and that's really kind of thick and heavy this is really well made um, anything that I've gotten from dark matter props in this box I've really enjoyed it's been pretty good quality so I think that is just a really cool piece to have in general and it's got the little clasp on the back. So yeah, I I like that. Okay, so next up we have we have a license plate. Land of Lincoln, 1978. Oh, so this is the Halloween item. That's right. You could have gotten, I think it was Halloween or Evil Dead. It was one or the other. So I'm assuming that if this is the license plate from Halloween, then the other one you probably could have gotten might have been Evil Dead, I think. I can't quite remember. We'll look in the booklet and find out. But I think that's cool. Um, if you aren't a fan of Halloween, then you're just going to kind of look at this and not know. But I think that that is a pretty sweet reference. And I dig it. So we have our license plate. And it's actually like metal and legit. Next up, we have Fringe Division. So I actually don't watch Fringe either. Uh, Department of Defense, a cool little patch. So that's neat. I like patches. I like pins. I'm not super familiar with Fringe, although I've been told I should watch it. So, you know, that is definitely on the list. All right. And then we have our BAM pin. We have Buffy. So BAM box usually does variations on pins, and I like that. They're usually really good quality, um, and they have certain rarities. So I don't know if this is a common or a rare one, but they usually do several versions. So I like that. I'm, I'm a Buffy fan, so I, I really enjoy that reference. And then we have our autograph or print. This is an autograph. So this 8x10 photo has been hand signed by Zach Galligan, who plays Billy in the Gremlins. Oh my god, that was it. Gremlins was in this box. That's why I bought this box. Oh my god. Look at that. I met Zach Galligan at Monster Mania Con like two years ago. He's a really cool dude. I had my little gizmo. In fact, one second. Gizmo! <laughs> As you can see, he still has a tag from like when I was a kid in the 80s. Gizmo attended Monster Mania Con with me and we met Zach Galligan and he really enjoyed it. So I love having this in my collection. I have his signature somewhere. But yeah, so that is awesome. And I cannot wait. Gremlins is my favorite Christmas movie. It's one of my favorite 80s movies. Yes, I loved it. So I am super happy and as always, Bambox includes a COA. Alright, and then our final item in the box is the print. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, so this is number 470 out of 1200, a Christopher Ummings print for Edward Scissorhands. This is gorgeous! I'm a huge Tim Burton fan. I absolutely love this and it has the COA. Um, this is the fan art collection, art print, Edward Scissorhands, signed by artist Chris Aminga, and is guaranteed to be authentic. So you can see that on the back. And that is everything we got in the box. So let's do a quick recap. 
So you can see BAM box October 2017. This is just the regular box. They also have a one up system. So if you check out my last unboxing, we got a one up on the print, I believe. Um, we didn't get one in this box. They also have their horror box, which is awesome. So if you guys are horror fans and you like this type of stuff, definitely check it out. All right, so going through, we have our BAM box Buffy the Vampire fan art collection pins from artist Brian Romero. So we got Buffy. It looks like Buffy is the most common one. They also had a limited edition version of Spike, which was out of 500, and the Gentleman, which was the rarest, out of 250. So that's what they look like. The next item was the Fringe Fan Art Collection Pat. So it looks like a lot of this stuff in this box is a fan art collection. Most will receive the black and red logo patch, but some will receive the inverted color patch limited to 250. So that was another potential one up that you could have gotten. We got the regular patch and that is what the limited edition patch looks like. So I dig patches. I love the pins. Bambox always does really fun pins. And then we had our Bambox signing with Zach Galligan. He was the main character in Gremlins, uh, Billy. You could have gotten one out of three different prints. We got him fighting Spike, of course, with the chainsaw in that epic battle scene. This is amazing. There was a limited edition print of 250, and then there was also another version of him with Gizmo, which would have been amazing. And here were some of the other potential prints that you could have gotten. And then we have our prop replica Grim key map of seven keys from Dark Matter Props, and this is really, really well made. The necklace opens up to form the key just like in the show. And this is really substantial and like I said, really well made. And you can see it opens up like that. The detailing on it is pretty incredible. And there were no variations on that. Then you have Ed, the fan art collection print by artist Christopher Aminga. So you could have gotten one of two versions. This is just the regular print which I actually prefer to the limited edition of 250. And this is by artist Steve McGinnis. And he did the Nurse Joker print from last year. We just got the regular one and I actually really, really like it. This is number 470 out of 1200. Yeah, I love this print. This is my favorite item in the box. It is beautiful, it's adorable, it's whimsical and creepy. I just, I love this actually more than I love the, um, the alternate version, the rare version. So that's that. And then our final item is the prop replica of the license plate from Halloween. You could have gotten that or the Evil Dead license plate. So you will either receive the Insane Asylum wagon plate from the movie Halloween or Ash's Oldsmobile plate from Ash vs. Evil Dead. They're all screen accurate and metal stamped and in embossed aluminum. So that's awesome. We got the Halloween one. I actually prefer this one. Although I do love Evil Dead, I prefer Halloween more, so that is really cool. And just a fun little nod for those who are kind of in the know. So I like that. And that is what they both looked like. And that is everything in this box. I think the print is my favorite, hands down. I just, I love the art style. It's, it's so fun. I also really enjoy the pins as usual, the prop license plate is fun there isn't really anything that i dislike in this box of course the autograph is always a fan favorite for me and you know having met zach personally this is just a nice little thing to kind of add to that collection with my other autograph and again being from one of my favorite movie franchises in the 80s my favorite christmas movie yeah i really like this but the print i think takes it for me in terms of favorite item and i'm actually generally just really happy with everything in this box I, I like prints, I like autographs, I like the props. The patch is probably my least favorite, but I'm also not familiar with the show, but I like patches, so I'm not mad about it. There isn't anything that I dislike in this box. And if you guys are interested in the BAM box and you guys like these types of items, I definitely recommend checking them out on Facebook and you know engaging with the community. If you're a horror fan, their horror box is incredible. So I recommend checking that out as well. Overall, I'm just genuinely very happy with this box. Yeah, I'm I'm a super fan of the BAM box and I think they nailed the October theme. You have your creepy TV shows, you have your horror movies, you have your sort of whimsical creepiness. It's just, it's a home run for me. So I am very, very happy with this box and I can't wait to see what else they bring in the future. 
Um, but I want to know what you guys think. What was your favorite item in this box? How well do you feel like it represented October and Halloween? Would you have been happy with these items? Were there any variations that you either got or would have preferred? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you guys like the BAM box and you want to see more of them on this channel or if you guys like this video, then give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.